Stuck for an adventure idea? Here's one of the books I use. Stick around. Hi folks, Omen Grognard here. Okay, I knew this was going to happen eventually, but um, here we are. I'm starting to get into the territory of things that are out of print. I try to do as much as I can with stuff in print, but I knew I'd get there. Um, but a couple of these books are kind of semi out of print, if you know what I mean. Uh, they're not quite out of print, but they're getting there. Um, anyway, I want to talk about adventure design and sometimes how you're stuck for ideas, things like that. Now, there's several good books out there, and I want to show you a few of my favorites. This one is called Ultimate Toolbox. A lot of you know about this one. Um, it's been around since 2009, and it was written by Don and Jeff Eibach and Jim Pinto. Now, there was a predecessor book to this from Alderac. These are all from Alderac Games, by the way, during the third edition phase called Toolbox, which is a good book in its own right. It has about 400 uh, tables and charts. And later on, during the OSR phase, um, and Toolbox was done in 02. So Ultimate Toolbox, they reworked, put a lot of more new tables in, and came up with Ultimate Toolbox, which came out in 2009. Now, this has a lot of the stuff in here. They've changed a few things around, but put even more tables in it. Here, here's the table of contents. I'll show you how they're, they're organized here. Yeah, if you notice here, on the table of contents, and I'm reading along with you, um, you've got the ch uh, chapters like character, world, civilization, maritime, dungeon, magic. Chapter seven is plot. It says GM only. That's one of the most useful ones for me. And then a good appendix. So, <clears throat> what does it give you? Tables. And they're all D20 tables. Here's a sample of a table from the, I believe, the uh, plot section. And you'll notice they're all 1 to 20, so it's easy. 20-sided die. And I start with this one. Uh, I start with this one and another book I will get to in the next review. Um, and it has really, really helped me, and I know it'll help you. Sometimes you're just going to need to kickstart your brain. Um, I've rolled up stuff on here that don't make any sense at first, but the fun part is trying to make it fit together, to me anyway. That's one of the ways I do it. I mean, there, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much a proponent of the lazy DM. So I don't always hold these books out, but if I'm totally, you know, can't find nothing, I go to the I, I go to the books. I head to the mattresses. I go to the books, and there's things in here like um, let's see marches and parades in town, holiday celebrations, domestic animals, crime and punishment, NPC encounters galore, dungeon dressing. I'm just thumbing through the book right now. Uh, histories and sages. Sewer encounters, so you get a lot. I mean, this the book is kind of scattershot, but it is organized scattershot, and that is Ultimate Toolbox. Now, I say it's semi out of print because you can still get PDFs of it. Um, if you're gonna buy these in print, this one I found in half price books. This originally went for $26.95, I think I paid 20 bucks for it. Uh, Ultimate Toolbox, 50 bucks in print. Uh, now, if you go to RPG Now or Drive Through RPG, um, you will find uh, the Ultimate Toolbox for $29.95, and you can also get the regular Toolbox for $9.95. And that's Ultimate Toolbox by Alderite Games. So look for it at your online. If you can find a copy, find a used copy or whatever, grab it. Grab it. It was well worth the 50 bucks. I paid full price for it. So 
I was I was lucky. I got it a couple of years ago. My game store ordered it for me, and they happened to have some in the warehouse. So I was kind of lucky in that regard. Anyway, uh, go check it out. And if you want to tell me about it, I'm always at oldmangrognard at gmail.com. So until next time, bye bye <laughs> Thank you.